put the pop pops in our lap book. Why? With tabs and flaps that turn ordinary illustrations 3D, pop up books will have even the most reluctant reader eagerly turning pages to catch a glimpse of the next scene. They're a great way to add some extra incentive and rewards to reading, especially for kids who get bored quickly. So, let's get started! So, my mommy sent to you the template for our lesson today, and it will include this background um, and a strip of an extra strip of paper and five pictures of flowers. Please make sure that you have all these materials so that you can follow along in our lesson today. Can you show it to me if you have all these things printed out? Including these flowers. Five flowers. Okay, very good! We're all ready now. So, you might be wondering, why do we need a background and another strip of paper? Well, um, we need a background like this because we are, set, we are going to do a pop-up about the flowers of the mountains. That's why we have a mountain here and some grassy plains here. And we need this strip of paper because this is the one that's going to support all our pop-up elements, our pictures of the flowers. To, and when we paste it on the background, it will look camouflage and our pictures will look 3D and look like they're growing in the mountains. Okay, let's start! First step, get the strip of paper. You get your strip of paper and then you fold it in half. Okay, did you get it? Very good. Okay, let's go to the next step. Do you need more time? We will wait for you. Okay, next step. Fold it in half again like this. Okay, now we need to mark the bottom side of our strip of paper. Just going to mark it with a little line. Done. Now, since we've identified now the bottom part of our strip of paper, we have to fold it again like this. Fold it again from here and do it like this. So now we cut a slant line here and it should run down from the crease we made earlier here from the line this line to the bottom. Or you can turn it around so you can see the line better. So I'm going to use this so you can see it better. So as you can see here, this is the line that we folded uh, earlier in half. 
So now we're gonna cut from there to the bottom, like that, a slant line. is getting it. Okay, let's open it up. There you go. You have this kind of triangle shape in the middle of your paper. Now we should get our background and now we're going to stick our strip of paper. Okay, next step. Get your background and now we need to fold it in half. to your background. So we're going to glue first the first time, this one. Make sure you see the line, the half line. And I will just spread it. Make sure that the half line here on your strip of paper will align with your um, crease here on your background. So I'm just a bit so much <laughs> Lighting! There you go. We have our first side pasted onto our background. I hope you're all getting it! Did you get it? I hope you did. I'll wait for you. Okay, we'll continue to the next step. Now we're going to fold it like this again and then fold it over. And then we're going to put again the glue on this tab. Okay, I'm just gonna spread it a bit. Make sure that you don't put any glue here on the inside of your tab because it will stick, it won't pop up just here on the outside. Okay, so the next step is to get the other side of your background and fold it over. And press down on the, where your strip of paper is. Now we will try to open it. There! Now our main element pops up. I hope you're getting it! Always remember, do not put glue here, just on the tabs outside. Now 
to get our cut out flowers. So since we are doing the flowers of the mountains, these are flowers that you can see on the mountains. You can arrange now these cut out flowers however you like. But for me, I'm going to start with this flower. Darwin Slipper. Now you can put it um, on the inside like this, or you can also put it on the outside. You can paste it like this or like this. But for me, I like to put it inside so we can put a label so we can know what flower this is. Okay, let's, let's paste it. Okay, let's see when we fold the paper. Will it pop up? Okay, there. Just make sure that the glue will not spread on the other side of the paper so it will not stick to the strip of paper. Okay, next flower. I'm going to choose this one. This flower is the fire lily flower. Okay, let's paste it. For our next flower. This is the giant pink flower. Uh -oh. to our last flower. The Giboshi flower. There you have it! I hope you followed along and had a great time making this pop-up! Did you make it? I hope you enjoyed it! In the end, it should look like this. See, it looks 3D because the flowers are standing up and they look like they are growing on the mountain. And now, 
now. It's up to you if you want to label it or not. But for me, we um, I like to put um, the names of the flowers so we really know what these flowers are. So these are the names that I have written. And this is the title of our pop-up. I'm going to paste the title first. Okay. First one. Now next, fire lady. Okay, now we're done with fire lady. Our next is giant pink. These are some of the flowers we can see on the mountains. So let's see if it will pop up. Pop! Yay! So actually we've already done several of these pop-ups. And we plan to make a little book inside our flower lap book. Uh, explaining um, what are the flowers that can be seen inside different environments or different biomes. And now we're going to stick them together, put a cover, and we'll have a little book inside our lap book. So like this one, this is the first one we did. This one's our flowers of the garden. Oh, so the second piece is this one. Flowers of the Arctic Tundra. And then we have, okay, so this is the third one. Flowers of the Tropics and Subtropics. Okay, okay, next one. This one is the Flowers of the Woodlands and Forests. This one is the flowers of the prairies and um, dry plains. And this one, the most recent one, the one that we did today, the flowers of the mountains. And the last one is the flowers of the desert. Okay, so now we're going to paste them up. We're, we're, I'm going to paste them up together, and we're going to make our 
mini pop-up book. Second to the last, flowers of the mountain, and lastly, flowers of the desert. So this is the same concept that we did for our Life of Joseph um, mini pop-up book too. So let's see how we did it. So these first two pages are a different kind of pop-up. So this one is what, is what we made. And look, it stands up just like the flowers. So this was when Joseph was in prison. So we did like the bars and when Joseph was in prison picture. So it looked like Joseph was in the prison. Okay, so this one is another example. Joseph as a ruler. Same concept. If you can see here, this one is the flap that we sticked onto the background of pa this paper, and then that's why it made pop it pop up like this. See the flaps here? This one also has the flaps. So this is also one of the uh, one of the books that we also use the same technique used with my other book. So we also used that same technique in our Odonaka lap book. I'm just going to open it up. And for the first three pages, we used the same kind of technique. That's why the damsel fly, the damsel fly and the dragonfly stand up. And this one, the back one also stand up. See the flaps here? Those are the flaps. Okay, so this one is another example, but quite different because it's already the paper. So there we also have flaps inside. This one has flaps here. That's, one, that's the one that we put the glue on and it stands up. This one is also Another example. This one's a big one. So um, you can see here. This is the these, these are the flaps that we made. Odonaka Lapo. So I 
hope you enjoyed our activity today in our lapbook in class and I hope you learned a lot. Enjoy lapbooking!